A student study motion of magnet falling through vertical copper pipe. Eh, this one you learn in induction there. So the magnet will just drop down. The, the student will release a magnet. Magnet has speed V as it leaves the pipe. He suggested that you have this relationship you want to study. V and B and the, uh, the equation is this one. V equals V naught E negative lambda B. What is B? Magnetic flux density at the pole. Okay. Design experiment to test between V and B. Oh, that's the one we want to set up. Okay, so today I want to focus more on the setup. How do you measure V and B? Let's start out with B first because it's a little bit easier. So, Hall, this experiment, actually you need, you need quite a few measuring tools. If you say, Miss, I always forget what to use. How to measure B? How to measure V? I'm very confused. Well, if you're very confused, it's good to make a list of what tools there are to measure these kind of things. Okay? So if you've turned over to your set A handout, C paper 5, set A handout, flip over to it, just grab it, first few pages. You have it with you, open it up, then you can see what I'm talking about. So in set A, the first page looks like this. A summary of question one, blah, 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 what to be careful, what are things, what are things. Page two, you will see this long table, which is the one that I'm going to look at a little bit more. So, in page two of your paper five set A handout, write that down. This is P5A, well, P5 set A. <laughs> There's this table, which I can say is kind of a summary of all the paper five types of experiment. I mean, there may be some missing, lah, but the first column, We'll tell you what are the quantities like height. Oh, this one. If you want to measure height, what do you use? Instrument or measurement? Meter, ruler. Okay, and if you want examples and other additional detail that go with that, you can go check that out. So today, oh, we want to measure velocity and magnetic flux density. So we're going to look at oh, magnetic. Okay, they don't don't use this as a, 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 a reference to always look at it. Make sure it helps you to summarize the other ideas, but make sure you your brain can remember this thing. Because during the exam, you can also look at this table. Let's see, current, voltage, emitter, temperature, pressure, force, got right here. Angle, volume, volume, density, average, magnetic flux density. There we go. So we have magnetic flux density, B. If you want to measure that, you use a Hall probe. Only got Hall probe here, nothing else. So that's it. I don't know why this is here. It's a typo. Uh, and there's a bunch of magnetic field experiments. You can look at, up, look at to know more about it. Additional detail. Anytime got hall probe, got electric field, uh, this one all must write inside also. Lah. So for hall probe, we want to talk about these two important steps. How to use a hall probe. I mean, I already mentioned it in the previous class. So you'll find the notes or recording for that. Whenever you say use hall probe, you must say calibrate hall probe with known field. And then rotate hall probe until max reading. Two things. So you need to use a measure B, use hall probe. To do that, here are the details. On. Okay, next. What's we need to measure? V. Ah, how to measure velocity. Miss, it's not written in the thing. Are you sure about that? There's one here. There is one. Scroll up and down. No more. Only this one. Okay. So this 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 table, uh, you can feel free to expand it one, you know. It's your notes. So doodle and expand as you wish. So we need to measure B. We also need to measure velocity acceleration because V. Well, here it says measure displacement and time of object. But in this in this particular experiment, you need to do a little bit more complicated stuff. So let's go back to the experiment. But know that you can find this here, okay? Expand on the list, add details, additional detail, you'll find something new to throw inside there. This is in paper five set A, a list of Quantities, measurements, examples, and additional details that go with that. Most of them, generally. But there are some missing. Let's go back to today. Planning. Okay. So what's this? I'm going to measure V, right? V is exit velocity. How I know? Man, they tell me, ma. Speed V as it leaves the pipe. So when you come out, only you got that V. Me, 
please tell me what happened inside there. I don't care what happens inside there. I don't want to bother what happens inside that. Because oh, it's I don't need to worry about it. It go in, it has some initial velocity. Then by the time it come out, it has V naught. But it will follow some weird equation, and this is not 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 our Stuba equation. The reason why we cannot use Stuba equation for this is because if you want to use Stuva to find velocity, uh, your acceleration must be constant. But is it constant? Actually, no. It's going to be some weird pattern inside there. It's because, firstly, you have the weight, mg. Okay, sure. Then you have some kind of resistive force, also known as drag force, which is due to the magnet opposing this falling, uh, due to the pipe opposing this magnet. So cannot say you cannot assume the acceleration is constant, so cannot use Stuva methods. So that is out of the window. Bye bye. So what else to use? This one must know how to use. It's called a light gate. So you can say light gate motion sensor, but I recommend you use the word light gate. So know how a light gate works. So when you draw this pipe, you need to draw retort stem, of course. Your pipe floating is it? No lah. Draw a light gate here, down here. Um can draw something like this. Wow, my drawing is very... Okay, let me try to try attempt number two. Light gate is like a U-shaped thing like this. In between this U-shape, there's, there's like a, a laser beam here. So the laser beam will connect between both sides of the gate. Oh, and this one connect to the computer. Also... No floating things. You want the ghost to hold for you, is it? No. Clamp the thing down. So this whole, uh, what you call this, copper pipe is going to be clamped down to some part on the table. And so will be the light gate as well. How to draw clamp, 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 connect, retort step. Okay, so make sure you include some kind of something down there to measure the thing. Okay, so how's the light gate work? Huh? How can you use the light gate to measure the velocity once it exit out okay once this uh, magnet fall out v so imagine it this way your light gate ah uh, side view looks like this laser beam is here when the laser beam is undisturbed like it connect together like this one here then the light gate is just chilling uh, waiting for the magnet to come down what happens when the magnet come down Okay, let's use this as our <laughs> magnet. So magnet is here. Laser beam not cut yet. Magnet is here. Laser beam going to get cut already. Interrupted laser beam. So the moment the magnet cuts the laser beam, laser beam cannot, cannot shine to the other side. Then it will start timer. T1. Ooh, I should do here. T1. T1 is when the magnet cuts the beam. Then... The magnet will fall, 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 until here. Then the laser beam can reconnect together. So that's when you have a T2. Now let me ask you. How to use light gate to measure velocity if all it can do is measure time? That's all it can do. How ah? You think you carefully and see what do we need to measure velocity? Okay, we have Stuva equations, we have all these things. But if you're using a light gate, the, the equation that you want to use is this one. V equals to distance over time. Now this is kind of like the average velocity within this time interval. What's the time interval? This one, no? The time between the light gate when it starts and when it stops. Which is also the time taken for the magnet okay, to first reach here, pass through the light gate, and then end down there. So travel a certain distance, cover a certain distance in a certain time. So in this case, all oh, your D is going to be this length of the magnet. We assume that the acceleration is not a big effect here, so we're finding the average velocity during this time interval. You know, not how you're going to find that. So you need to know the length of the magnet, and of course the time it taken for this length to pass by a point, which is the light gate laser. This is called the single light gate method. Whatever you use, you can use this to measure velocity, but you must know the length of the object that is passing through the light gate. Think about this, huh? So you can use this 
for anything, any experiment that is moving. Uh, this one is not inside the paper 5A list of equipment, so you can maybe write that down, light gate. But make sure you know how, what you need. Okay, so whenever you mention light gate, you need to know, you need to mention this equation. Like, okay, use light gate, but light gate measures time. How are you going to get velocity? That's what you want. So you think of all, oh, measure the length of the car, measure the magnet, and uh, divide by time taken by the light gate. Okay, so I'll give you a moment to doodle that somewhere. So some common mistake I noticed, and a lot of people who submitted this one is, they go and say, take a stuva, measure the length of the pipe, here is V0, here is V, use some stuva, stuva, cannot, that one, cannot. So, we see the masking that say, cannot use length of pipe. Cannot use stuva for this pipe. Have to use after the come out of the pipe, what you want. That is the V. After you come out, we don't care what happened inside. You cannot see inside also. It's copper. So doodle this down. If you have tried it, you can go check your work a little bit, um, how you describe it. If you just say, use Mohsen sensor to measure V, but never really talk about it, also cannot. So Mohsen sensor, this one, lah, with light gate. Use the word light gate. Let's go and see what is in the masking. Okay, so B, well, I, shall, I shall draw it down. So first step, you want to measure B. You put your magnet there, lor. Then you put the hall probe like this. Label. Hall probe. Don't forget, hall probe must connect to voltmeter. Okay, lor. So voltmeter. Why you put hall probe there? Or measure magnetic field. Or flux density. After you do that, you drop the magnet in. Okay, sure. Drop in. Come in with V0. Come out with V. How you measure exit velocity? Light gate. Very important too. Let's go and take a peek at the mark scheme. Let's see where they talk about this light gate. Mm, ah, this one. This is M3. M3 mark. Method to determine the time and bottle of the tube. You say, why time? I miss, can you stop watch? Ah? Can, but it's going to be very hard to stop watch. Like you have to... You, human now, we are human reaction time. We need a pretty long uh, time in order to use a stop watch. So light gate is a way better choice to measure time for you. So anyway, we want to purpose to measure time. Okay, so we got time, time. So use of light gate motion sensor attached to computer data logger. So recommended is to use the light gate to measure time. Light gate don't measure velocity directly, it measures time, time interval. You cut the laser beam, then the laser beam join back together. Uh, do not allow time of length over tube. So over length of tube, no. Okay, then you mentioned Hall Pro. Okay, that's a that's a part. So this M3 mark, this one is a bit tricky lah. No stuva, stuva, use your light gate. Then let's go to additional detail. Let's see, anything related to light gate here? There is two. These two relates to your light. Number two says, uh, D2 mark says, you use the appropriate length to determine V at the bottom of the tube. Okay, so what length do we measure just now? Length of magnet. So that our method is using this one. Appropriate length to determine V and then use this, measure between two fixed marks. Okay, another method is you just, when the thing come out already, you just put your eye here. Then another mark here. And you know this is what, 10 cm. And you use a stopwatch. Oh, but this method very hard to do. Oh. The magnet will move very fast. You have to look up here. You also have to look down here and see how long it takes. So this is your distance. And your time. And you calculate velocity. Velocity. Oh, very hard also. Eh? No, lah, don't do that. Use like it. Uh, <laughs> so this one is a bit harder. I guess you could use stuva for this one. Because now, magnet is free fall already. Free fall. If you're out of the tube... Expression should be almost constant. So you could use something like UOT plus half AT square. If you know the info, oh, but we don't know exit velocity. Ah, very hard. Very hard, like this method. No, 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 no. Just choose this one. Okay. And of course, you show the equation for light gate V equals D over T for magnet. Next, Hall probe. All the additional detail marks you need to know is down here, the two of it. Hall probe. Calibrate and rotate. Where is it? Rotate, adjust until maximum reading or rotate. 
So this one means rotate until maximum or 10. Then you know, okay, fix in that position. So these two come together. Okay, <coughs> so hopefully that clarifies some things up. Go and try this experiment. This one is one number one that that a lot of people confusion one. I already give you a hint how to try start it. So go and do that. So one of the most challenging thing is paper file is how do you even plan? So what we are doing now is planning. You may think, I mean, you have to do a shorter time to do that lah. You think, okay, we need measure B. What we use? Hall probe. New measure V. What do we use? Stuva. Wait, cannot. Exceed velocity. Light gate. At that point, you can measure velocity using a light gate. So remember that you are doing this experiment. Okay, I'll leave the rest for you to do. Quite a fun one, but also quite challenging, especially the planning part if you're like, how to measure this, how to measure that. Okay, so that's the first part on paper file.